And as COVID cases continue to climb, a new study by UC San Diego suggests there is a cheap and easy way to screen people for the virus, a smell test. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain how a few sniffs could save lives. This test uses the same technology you'd find on a scratch and sniff sticker, and a new study by UC San Diego found it's a lot more accurate than checking somebody's temperature. Don't smell a thing, nothing at all. Nothing. By now, we've heard plenty of stories of people contracting COVID and losing their sense of smell. It happened to Dr. Sarah Davis's daughter last summer. We knew she had been exposed to COVID, uh, and then all of a sudden, she really noticed a diminished uh, sense of smell. That's why the Dallas area family physician developed this. It has a scratch and sniff dot here and different multiple choices. She calls it a safer card. Doctors have found the infection causes changes in the tissues lining the nose. They typically resolve within two to four weeks, but a lot of patients experience some kind of smell loss, about 80%. Most of them, however, never realize it. When my patients would come in and I would ask them, well, how is your sense of smell? And uh, a lot of times they're like, oh no, it's just fine. And then I would have them try sniffing my card. They would fail my card and test positive for COVID. The card is a multiple choice test with options like lemon, grape, blueberry, and mint. People try to identify a single smell, then check their answer with an app. But to test just how well the test works, Dr. Davis turned to researchers at SMU and UC San Diego. We saw that compared to symptoms like cough, fever, fatigue, failing the smell card was actually the best predictor of uh, testing positive for COVID-19 on PCR. In a study published this month, the researchers found 95% of people without COVID passed the safer card smell test. 75% of people infected with COVID failed it. That means the test has some false positives because smell loss can be caused by other things like allergies, smoking, or other viruses. But the researchers say the card is a good starting place. Some studies show temperature scans, for example, can only spot as few as 10% of people who are actually infected. Our card really enhances our ability to um, pick up people that may need to then get PCR testing. PCR testing is considered the gold standard way to diagnose COVID, but it takes time and expensive equipment. One PCR test can cost more than $100. Rapid antigen tests cost 24 bucks for a two pack. These smell cards only cost a dollar or less if you buy in bulk. You can overcome it not being quite as accurate because you can use it so much more frequently. She says the cards could help schools, businesses, and doctor's offices narrow down who needs a more expensive PCR test. A study last month found smell tests like these given every one to three days can reduce cases and keep outbreaks under control, suggesting a little grape, berry, or banana might save lives. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Several companies are working on scratch and sniff smell testing for COVID. There are others being tested by researchers in Florida, Colorado, and Arizona.